It is another day in Trapani, but we are leaving and we are going to Palermo for two nights, right? Yeah. yeah. And then we're probably going to meet up with Marco again on Wednesday, hopefully. But right now we are waiting for the bus to take us to Palermo. I was just telling Bo that every time I take the bus, it's like it just left. You have to wait 30 minutes, but thank God he is here because it is coming in like two minutes. So the bus is here. That was fast. So this is our apartment in Palermo. It is so nice, no regrets, because both me and Bo work from home and we work a lot. So this is the living room area and then that's the bedroom and this is the kitchen. Everything is just very utilitarian. This is a very good use of space. There's even laundry here and there's a fridge here and then, okay, wait for it. This is to dry the dishes. Isn't that so funny? Like I said, this is the living room. They even gave us a free bottle of wine. And then here's my favorite part. Okay, so this is the bedroom. But look, there's a vanity for me to do my makeup. This is great. And then the bathroom is also really, really, really nice. So we have a full tub and shower. And yeah, it's just overall super clean and more modern than other Italian homes. First restaurant in Palermo and thank you. I got my favorite spaghetti with clams. Bo, what'd you get? I'm not sure, but it looks- It looks so good. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's dig in. You're trying this drink. It is a local drink, but it's tea with granita. And we now know what granita is because Marco explained it to us. So yay. And then we have our espresso as well. We are at this restaurant for dinner and we got two burratas and of course it comes with some bread. In Toronto, burrata always comes with like tomato and like other things and so far. Yeah. What the fuck are you guys not doing? This? Yeah, so right now every time we just actually just only get burrata and that's it. But then this time it came with these little <laughs> Alright, my pasta is here. This looks so lit. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And then this is both pasta. Looks so good it's too. vegetarian. Yeah, the sauce looks amazing. Okay, let's dig in. Good morning. Today is another day in Palermo. Sorry, I'm eating a mint. Um, I totally forgot I had to film this intro, but we're leaving now. Today we are going to the fountain. I actually went yesterday, but by the time we checked in, arrived to Palermo, it was like a one hour bus drive. By the time we arrived here, got lunch, etc., it was actually really dark already. So the lighting at the fountain wasn't good enough. So I'm gonna go back today and retake some pictures because it's not that far from our place. And also it's one of the main attractions in Palermo. So it's not to be missed. So I'm gonna go back today and take some pictures. We are at the fountain again, and the lighting is so much better today. So this is where we are for lunch. Um, this place is bumping, so I'm hoping that this means it's really good. Actually, it's extremely highly rated on Google Maps, so we'll see. We actually got appetizers this time, and this is just a mix. I'm so excited. Sea urchin pasta, and Bo got the eggplant, right? Is that eggplant? Okay, yeah. Good morning everyone! Today is another day in Italy. As you can see by my expression, I'm super happy because we're in Italy, baby! Okay, waking up in Palermo and we are actually on the move today. We are going to... Do you know how to pronounce that city's name? Cefalu. Cefalu. It's a very, very, very small town, especially in comparison to Palermo. Palermo is probably the biggest city in Sicily, and Cefalu is extremely, extremely small. If you guys have been keeping up, you will know that all of Italy is kind of not planned. Like, we're just literally planning as we go. In fact, we were initially supposed to be in Catania right now, but we last minute changed it and we are now going to Cefalu. So we're gonna be in Cefalu for two nights and then Marco is actually gonna join us on Friday. This is the tentative plan. This could change. On Friday, we are going to go to Catania and the best part of all of this is that there's actually a luxury shopping outlet called 
Celia outlet shopping or something like that, I will leave a picture here. There are luxury stores including Prada, Gucci, TBD on whether or not we're gonna buy stuff, but we're definitely gonna go check it out. I also wasn't able to kind of talk too much yesterday on my full day in Palermo, but really yesterday was like very much a content day for me. I went to the fountain, I took a lot of pictures, just me and my tripod. Um, if you guys didn't know, all of my pictures that I take on Instagram is mostly taken by myself. Hopefully you're already seeing it on Instagram, but that's pretty much what yesterday was all about. I'm excited to show you St. Paulo because I believe there is a very close by beach to our Airbnb and I am going to go tanning to add on some color. Talk to you guys later! I got spaghetti with mussels. Look at this. Oh my god. Hello. Beautiful. And Bo got a vegetarian pasta. This actually looks very good. This is our second time at this restaurant and that guy is our favorite waiter. First bite of my mussel pasta. This is so good. I'm so happy. We are currently at the train station and we are headed to uh, Shefalu, which is apparently, we found out this is how you say it. In Sicily, if you are going to come here, it is highly recommended you rent a car. We would have rented a car except because our trip is so YOLO and we literally have no plans. We just weren't sure if renting a car was going to be sufficient, so we didn't rent one. But I think like moving forward, if I do come back to Sicily, I will be renting one. Anyway, we're going to go inside and um, I'll meet you guys in Shefalu. We are in the train now. Basically, as I was filming the intro of us at the train station, Bo literally goes inside the second I am done and am about to go inside, the door closes. And the guy's like, oh, the door's not going to open for another three minutes. I'm like, off, train Italia. So we just got here and Bo realized that he accidentally booked the place for Thursday to Saturday instead of Wednesday to Friday. So now we are homeless. But it's okay. We're currently going to go to another hotel trying to see if we can go there. But this is, I guess, like the benefit of not having a plan because it doesn't ruin the rest of our plans. But right now we're stopping for ice cream even though we have all of our luggage there. Here's the culprit. <laughs> this is where we're stopping and then we're going to keep walking to the hotel that we're hoping to book. Hello everyone! Basically, we dropped off our stuff and now I'm headed to the beach while Bo is working and I'm just having this throw on. It's very wrinkly, but it's fine. I'm not taking pictures with it. And I honestly cannot wait to go to the beach anymore. So I'm just gonna do whatever. We are now in the town of Seifalu and everything just looks so cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, I am here and it is so packed, you guys. It's actually insane. I'm gonna rent a bed here. It's actually 30 euros, but whatever. Bonjour, we're not in France, but if you guys didn't know, Bo is actually French, French. from Quebec, not from France. Anyway. It's the best part anyway. We don't wanna be from France. We are gonna go take some photos right now because it is the sunset and then after that we're gonna go eat hence why i'm dressing fancy just because i want a nice sunset photo our airbnb or b and b sorry is only five minutes away from the beach so that's where we're gonna go to take some photos we are here for the sunset which should be the next few minutes All right, we are now at dinner. The initial place we wanted to go is fully booked, so we're gonna go there for lunch instead. But it's in this really quaint alleyway. It's so cute. So I got my carpaccio, and Bo got his tomato salad. Un unseasoned. <laughs> unseasoned. Okay, so apparently this is a very famous Sicilian or Cefalu dish, and you got the vegetarian lasagna. That looks so good. Yeah, Hello everybody, today is a another day in Shefalu. Even though I am wearing the same shirt, and the reason I'm wearing the same shirt is because, like I said, we had to go to this impromptu place in Shefalu. So I didn't really want to unpack too much because we're actually staying in our Airbnb for two nights. The restaurant we really wanted to go to is not open until 12.30, even though on Google Maps it says 12. 
This is the main Duomo, aka church, in Shefalu. We just arrived to our Airbnb. This is the place we're meant to stay at. Immediately upon walk-in, there's this really, really cute bed, and the floors and tilings are just beautiful. And then look at the stairs, it's just so cool. So you go up the stairs again, and then you have this mini kitchen. This living room area and table, it's a must for me and Bo because we're both working. And then the bathroom is also really cute. Hello, here I am. Yeah, look at this. This is so adorable. Okay, we really lucked out because the B&B place and this Airbnb place is actually very close together. So we didn't have to lug our luggage all the way across town. The area that we're staying in is actually amazing for Seifalu because it is so close to everything. It is literally like three to five minutes away from the beach. It's three to five minutes away from literally every restaurant. So when we went to that restaurant and they were just like, it opens at 1230, we did all of this all within 20 minutes and the restaurant is still not open yet. So we're gonna go get some gelato and then we're gonna go get some lunch. But look at how cute the street is. Attempt number two to go to this restaurant. It's so nice in here. Look at this view for today's lunch spot. It is absolutely gorgeous. Food is here and Bo got some vegetarian pasta. This looks amazing. And then I got my whole ass seafood platter. Yum! We're gonna go get some gelato. All right guys, we are currently off to dinner and I don't know where we're going actually. This is a bit tipsy. Our first dish is here, it's just caprice salad. Okay, I don't even know what this is, but it looks really good. Hey, don't show my stuff. <laughs> and here we have my pasta. Good morning guys. Today is another day in Shefalu and I thought I would actually take you guys along to show you how I take my Instagram pictures. Like I said, I take my Instagram pictures myself. I don't like to bother people and I also know my own angles. Anyway, right now this is a very uh, tragic situation. I am walking um, in heels on cobblestone, but I'm actually like quite good at walking in heels, I feel like. I mean, I don't want to jinx myself. But I feel like if there was an Olympic sport for running in heels, I'm your girl. But anyway, I am gonna go to the Duomo right now of Shefalu. It's very close to our Airbnb and I'm gonna go and take some pictures there. Okay, this is my seafood salad and is that your main? Oh, okay. Fish ravioli and oh, that looks amazing. I have never been so excited for a lot of my life. There's a freaking passion fruit. Another day in Shefalu and we are not at the beach this time, we are more closer to the rocks and I'm so excited, I'm gonna go swimming. There's a lot of people here as well. And then look at the mountains! Okay, so it is currently Friday night, we've met with Marco again. Say hi! Hello! We're currently in Shefalu and we're having dinner. And this is nice because Marco orders for us. He, he knows what's good. This is our Sicilian dish. Okay, I added the mayonnaise and ketchup for the fried dish. And then this is The Duomo at night. We're gonna go get some ice cream. This is our favorite gelato place. And then the city is live. It is 2.30 and we are finally heading home. And this is the Duomo that we pass all the time. And there's even like a half moon. Beach at night. Good morning everyone, today is another day in Sicily and we are gonna visit the Duomo. We've been here for a couple days and this is the first time we're actually visiting the Duomo. But this is actually perfect because we purposely waited for Marco. You wanna say hi? Ciao. <laughs> because he's gonna give us the best history lesson that you can't pay for. And this is the square. And that's our favorite gelato place. And now we go to the Duomo. 
Yay. This was made, uh, actually, the purpose was to make a symmetric church with two towers. Okay, you look to the door. When you see the red carpet, then you go slowly up. Apparently, um, coming into a church, you're not allowed to wear anything that shows your shoulders. I did not get that memo, clearly. Oops. And this is very, very Arabic, you see? Mm -hmm. He was taking the king of the Arabs to, to try to do it, because this shape is very Arabic. All right, time for breakfast. This is what is being offered. I'm trying some, what is this? Italian? Pinocchio. <clears throat> Pinocchio. Okay, whatever that is. Cheers. Cheers. It's interesting. Yeah. Also trying this pizza. It, you said this pizza is... Spinciuna. It's typical in the Palermo area. <laughs> trying a pizzotto? Pizzotto. Okay. Its pronunciation is much better. This is what it looks like. And this is the inside. Ham and mozzarella. This is amazing. <laughs> wow, I love this. Okay, 